Hey, good afternoon everybody, it's Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop and our Sunday evening blog. Well, what we have for you this week, we're not working off the script or anything. Um, basically for our blog this weekend, we're going to be discussing uh, our CNC router, the two brushes that go into the router, we're going to be replacing them. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a little while and I found that I could come up with enough content to actually write the article and make it a worthwhile breed, okay? So, as far as replacing your brushes are concerned, it is a very easy process, it's a very simple step. Our blog goes really more into detail. Uh, but these are from, oh goodness gracious, these are from ereplacementparts.com, okay? We're not associated again or affiliated with them, it's just where I bought them. Uh, you buy these in a pair, and I believe that these were less than 10 bucks with shipping. So to not have an extra pair of these kicking around in the toolbox or in the cabinet or something is it's just kind of crazy, all right? Minimal tools. You're gonna need a screwdriver, uh, some pliers, needle nose pliers, and then you're gonna need a way to get the torque screws out. Whether you use a, uh, use a, a T-handle, Allen wrench, or you use a, uh, you know, a case of Allen wrenches, or you get Allen wrenches with the torque heads on them that are, I don't know what this is in, it's own little holder. It really doesn't matter. However, the other nice thing is, too, is that all of the screws are slotted, so you can just use uh, an everyday run-of-the-mill conventional screwdriver, okay? And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and don't forget a good set of glasses so you can see what you're doing. Okay. Now, the only other thing that I will do is once I have this apart, because we're going to bring the camera right in, and we'll give a close-up of this so you can see what we're actually doing. When I have the lid off, the one thing that I do do is I take my uh, I take my dust collector hose that would normally be hooked up to the DC uh, port on the machine itself. I'll take uh, a little bit of high-pressure air, and I will shoot from the underside. I'll shoot down, but I'll have my dust collector running. You're going to cough up a lot of dust from inside the actual router housing. So, your dust collector running, if you have one, or a shop vac, something to pick the extra dust up. You don't do this all the time, but while you have it apart, you may as well give it a good cleaning, okay? So, you ladies and gentlemen, please hang on for just one second. We'll bring the, uh, we'll bring the camera in, and we'll show you how to take this apart and swap these brushes out, okay? All right, everyone, we'll be right back. All right, everyone, here we are. We're at the router. Now, what we're going to do to speed things up is we have taken, you know, some of the screws out and this and that. But we've got a total on the top. You can see right here in the front. There's one here. There's one just on the other side. There's one here. There's one behind it. And then you've got a nut that's down on the top of this adjustment knob, which is kind of null and void. So we're going to stick our little... T-handle Allen wrench in there. Uh, my laser crosshair wire is, is right here. It's kind of in the way. So I just disconnect it. I lay it up over things out of the way. And then we, uh, we loosen up our screws. Now, as we have all of our screws loose, once they're done, we very gently wiggle our cap. Oh, we still got a little bit more to go on this one. We just wiggle our cap and we take it right up off the router itself. Okay, I'm just gonna set the cap over to the side out of the way. Now, what you see here, this is our electronic uh, speed module, I believe that's what it's called. It's held in here by one screw right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna take out this one screw. Now I told you the other nice thing is, if you don't have a, uh, an Allen wrench or a torque head, you can do this with just a conventional screwdriver. Be very careful, because this has happened to me before. I have dropped a screw right down inside the housing. If that happens and you don't have anything magnetic you can put down in there, you will have to, uh, on the front of your router mount, there's a couple of, uh, like a button head cap screw with uh, torque heads in it. You'll have to loosen it, take the whole router out, tip it upside down, and shake the screw out. Not fun, okay? But it's not the end of the world. Now, we're going to take our trusty needle nose pliers, and right here, you're going to see there's a black wire. Okay, we're going to pop him up. We're going to raise him up out of the way, and now, as you can see in the back right here, there's another one. 
You could mark these if you wanted, but this whole assembly really only goes back together one way. Now, you'll also see that there is a white wire. There's your white neutral wire. Okay, we do not disconnect that. There's no reason to. I just set the module right completely out of the way. My dust collector uh, here is kind of in my way too, so we're going uh, we're going to roll him down out of the way just so I have a little room to set things and work. Alrighty, and there we go. We can set our module completely out of the way. Now I've already changed my one bushing in the front, although you can probably see it better. We'll go back through and uh, we'll do this one. I should have probably replaced the back one first, but really quick, this is very simple. Like I said, be very careful with your screws when you're taking out, because uh, this is basically what we're removing now is your uh, your router brush module. Okay, it's basically a holder. Keep all of your screws right tight. Now, on the front of this, you can see that this whole thing has a copper assembly to it, and there's a reason for that. Right on the side, uh, let me get a small screwdriver. Right on the side, and I don't know as though you can see it, there's a post right here. You'll see it when it comes, uh, when, we, when we slide this out. But this, this post has kind of an electrical, uh, like a female receptacle on the end of it. It slides right down over another post that's sticking up. Take a small screwdriver. Oh my goodness, small screwdriver. Stick them underneath the module and very gently pry upwards. Do not force this thing because if the module breaks, well, you've got now got another part to order. And that may be something that you may want to order just to keep in hand as well, okay? Now the module slides up. And there it is. All right, there is our... Uh, here is our brand new module, and this is the little, uh, this is the piece that I was telling you about. That's like a little female end right there, a little female end, and she slides down onto this post right here, okay? Now, I told you we've already done this one. When we go to reinsert them, make sure, let me see if I can get the angle right in the camera here. Oh, goodness, it's kind of like working backwards. Here we go. Here's the male post. The female is right there. We're going to rotate him. We need to push our new brush in. And then we need to slide him back down. There will be a pair of little slots here. Our brush is touching the inside of our, uh, our copper, copper spindle. We are sitting right directly over the top of this post. We push this down, applying even pressure. And that's it. This one's done. Okay, so before, uh, before I go on to the other side, let's put the screws back in. Like I said, you can use uh, Allen wrench, torque head, torque driver. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to use a, a regular, regular screwdriver here. And there's one side done. Okay, now if you weren't doing a video of this or trying to show anyone, this would... You can literally do this in a matter of minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to move on to the back. And what we'll do is we'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the wear difference. Now your back one's a little trickier to get out. Because you, you have nowhere near the access to pry under it like you do the front one. All the same things apply though. And you got to make sure that when it goes, uh, when the new one goes back on, you want to make sure that, uh, you insert it right so that that female electrical end that's on the uh, the little copper bracket itself will slide down over that male post. Therefore, creating the connection so that electrically everything works. All right. Now I know you can't see me, but on the back side here, I am going to get a screwdriver underneath this module. Now I've done this a couple times, so you just you be careful with it and take your time with it, and you can slowly but surely. Get that out of there. Okay, now I'm looking down in here and I'm also seeing there's a little bit of excessive, looks like just some wood sawdust and, and whatever, but that's it. Just give it a quick little shot of air. 
Get it out of there. Okay, now here is the old assembly. Let's make sure that we have, uh, we have everything we need here. All right, and I'm just trying to find the right place on the camera to do this. Now, this whole thing slides right out. All righty. This is basically your housing, okay, so that everybody sees it. And there's really only one way that this will go back together. So please stay, stay tuned here for one second. All right, I'm going to grab the, uh, I'm going to grab the new brushes that we've got. All righty. Now, this one isn't as bad as I thought it would be, but you can see the old one on the top. And we're going to also include some stills in here compared to the new one on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to take the old one. He's gone. Toodaloo. And now we're going to reassert this back into the housing. And like I said, it may not hurt to have these housings on hand. Now, you can see this can really only go in one way. Okie doke. Line your spring up so that it slides up into the hole and you can hold your finger over the end if you want. Now, what you will notice is on the bracket, let me see if I can get the angle right. Here we go. You see this little square hole right here. Okay, there's a little square hole. Well, what there is on your actual router brush bracket here, there's a couple of little... Uh, there's a couple high spots on this bracket. Well, what happens are those holes, those holes go right over it. I don't think you'll hear it snap, but it just did. And what it does are these are specifically, uh, they're specifically meant, now you can see the little, the little square slot here. All right, because there is a higher, uh, there's a little high post, and it basically locks this whole thing together. Now we're going to do the same thing again. We come over here, we see the male post sticking up, we see the female. Make sure the female is in the down position. Squeeze them in with your finger, and it is. It's a, it's a, pain, it's a pain in the butt sometimes to get these in, but and just persevere, you'll get them. Okay, now, I'm in my slot, my male is up, my female's down with even pressure. I slide this one down. There we go. And that's it. Both our brushes have changed out. It took me longer to make the video and edit it than I never would to, uh, to replace these, okay? Again, that's done. Everything's in. Looks good. We're going to reconnect. Like I said again, this only goes back on one way. It's not as though you're going to try to spin this around and hook it up. There's only one way it will go. We put our black wire back on our post. We put this black wire over here on this post. By all means, use your, uh, use your pliers. Now we get the module back. Underneath the module, there's a post with a hole. I'll pop it and show it to you real quick, just so that we know that we're, uh, what we're talking about. There's a post right here. Alrighty, you will see uh, just above where the, uh, where the white neutral wire connects as a post, and there's a hole right here. It just slides back in. Alright, we'll reconnect our wire, and we've got to put our one screw back in to hold our, uh, our speed module. Our electronic speed module. Never reef anything down either because you don't want to strip anything. Our blacks are on. Those are in. Our electronic speed module is mounted. We put our lid back on gently. And then from there, if we want to expedite this along a little bit quicker, we can use the... Uh, Good old T-handle here. And again, this knob, it serves no purpose whatsoever on the router. Okay. 
And then we take and we reconnect our laser crosshair power wire. Okay, and she is. There we go. And that's it. That is everything to swapping out your brushes. It is very, very simple. Nothing major here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All right, everybody, we're back. Well, there we go. That is the extent of our uh, CNC router brush replacement tutorial, if you would even call it that. It's a simple walkthrough. I hope you, everybody was, was able to see everything clearly. Again, if you ever have any questions, just please feel free. Shoot us an email, steve at littlelittlewoodshop.com. You can connect with us through the funny pages on Facebook or any of the other social media uh, platforms, okay? Well, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your for your support, subscribing to us. You know, if you, you see this video, hey, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. That'd be great. Either way, I hope every one of you had a wonderful weekend with you and yours. We had a, we had a beautiful day today, so I can't complain. And uh, stay tuned. We've got more to come with our uh, Wednesday midweek shout-out. All right, everyone? All right. Take care. Have a great week. We'll be talking to you soon.